Hello, my name is Peter Commissar and congratulations on finding the dullest videos on YouTube. So today we're going to be looking at three port valves, uh, what they are, what they do. And in further videos, we're going to look at the more techie stuff of voltages and how to test them, maybe how to repair them and such like. What I've done is I've put together a little rig like this. So this is essentially a, a conventional system. You've got a boiler, pump, room start, wiring center, three port power, where's the tank start down there, and the programmer. So we're going to look at free ports, we're going to do a few videos on it and we're just going to, uh, for the benefit of my apprentice, how are you doing Brandon? And potentially anyone else out of our DIYs and such, um, this is the basics, how they work. So I'm going to turn my unit on, I'm going to take my demand off, like that. So when it's in its resting state, this will give, um, you'll see this torch, there's a little light coming out of port B, that's your hot water. Um, and what this does, this free port valve, essentially it will divert water either one way or the other. You've got AB at the bottom, that's basically your flow into here. So it'll be like your boiler, pump, your free port valve, and then it'll divert water whichever way is needed. So you've got AB, A, which is for your heating, so if anything on this side will be for your radiators, B, to a tank usually. Um, we saw it'll divert water that way. Now, one of the most common um, complaints you get, particularly during summer, is my radiators are coming on when I've only got hot water demand. An easy way to test, first place that I go, put a hot water demand on, there's two pipes coming out of either side of here, hold them, they get warm. You can be pretty confident that your free port valve is an issue with air. Um, and essentially what's happening is if there's, there's a little spindle that's stuck, which isn't moving a little ball in this case, uh, which isn't moving a little ball to block up the light, your motor's dead, or there's some form of electrical issue, but most of the time you can just replace the head or the head and body, whichever. We'll come on to that though. So anyway, as you can see, I've got a little torch under there. That little torch is showing you that there is currently no light coming out of A or your heating, but there is light coming out of B, or your hot water. And your B is your kind of resting position here. You might be able to see in there is a little spring that essentially is um, holding the, the ball bearing in, in one certain position. Ball bearing, wrong word. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a heating demand on. And what you're gonna see is the light on B slowly disappear as this little ball moves across to A, uh, to block out B, so water can only flow through A. Hopefully you can see that okay. So you can see there's absolutely no water that can flow through B now. Now if this uh, free port wasn't working properly, and as I say, your hot water and heating are coming on when it shouldn't be, you would get a bit of light or water flowing through both. As you can see, all the light is now blocked to this side, and we've got light here, which tells me that this, this is functioning properly. So we've got water flowing through here. Now if I stick a hot water demand on, you'll see a bit of a light come here. And here, because we've now got a heating and hot water demand. Very simple. So let's take our heating demand off. And again, that ball will just move over here. It will block this side and it will only allow water to go through there. As I say, I'm going to do a few videos, show you exactly how this works, show you how the little micro switches work, because there are some faults you can find there. I'm going to show you how to repair them, how to replace them. We're going to look at the wiring centre, which is there. <laughs> this is, I purposely did it like this, because this is how you usually find them. Um, and we're going to look at voltages that are given, etc. That'll be coming over the next couple of three weeks as I get time to do them. But as a basic intro into what a free port valve does, there you go.